The most important part of using PDFs in InDesign is that InDesign no longer treats it as a PDF. It treats it as an image. So you won't be able to make any edits, you know, edit your text or your layout of the PDF once you've imported it into InDesign. Now one thing that might make this whole thing easier is clicking on File, New, New Document, is to make it the same size as your PDF. For instance, in this case, maybe we'll go with the letter size, 8.5 by 11, and click OK. Great. We'll click on File, click on Place, then let's select our, our file here, and let's go with the combined PDFs. I'll click on that and click on Show Import Options, and click Open. Now we see we have 26 pages, but maybe I just want the first page. So I'll highlight all of this and press the one key. And now instead of all 26 pages, we're only gonna import that first page and I'll click OK. Now you'll see the cursor has that image right over it. So I can just hover wherever I want and click. And there goes my image. Now here, this automatic blue box is going to be our cropping. So if I don't want it to crop, I'll make sure it's all exposed here. Good deal. And if I want to resize it, I can just double click. And it'll bring up this golden box or brown box. And I can click these transform handles and that'll resize it for me. Or if I want it to, st I'll control Z, undo that. Or if I want it to keep proportions while I'm dragging and I will hold the shift key. And now it keeps all the proportions and release. And that is how you import a PDF into Adobe InDesign.